Assalamu alaikum my dear students. Hope you are doing well by the grace of Almighty Allah. Welcome to the online class. Today we are going to talk about digestive gland. Before discuss that, at first you have to know what is digestive gland. The secretion of which glands help in food digestion are called digestive gland. You know, human digestive system consists of two parts. One is digestive tract, another is digestive gland. There are five types of digest digestive gland found in human body. Number one, salivary gland. Number two, liver. Number three, pancreas. Number four, gastric gland. And number five, intestinal gland. Among them, in our today's class, we will discuss salivary gland pancreas and gastric gland so first one is salivary gland there are three pairs of salivary gland present in both sides of buccal cavity number one parotid gland one pair of parotid gland is located just in front of both ear number two submandibular gland it is located just beneath the lower jaw number three sublingual gland it is located just beneath the tongue the secretion of salivary gland is called saliva saliva is acidic in nature the ph of saliva is 6.2 to 7.4 a healthy person can secret 1200 milliliter to 1500 milliliter saliva per day. The main components of saliva is water. There is 95.5% component of saliva is water. Beside water, saliva also contain some uh, cellular components, some gaseous components and organic and inorganic components. Now, the role of salivary gland in digestion. At first, the mechanical function. Saliva coats the oral mucosa. It protects the oral mucosa from trauma during eating. Saliva weighting the food and it acts as lubricants during mastication. Then saliva kills the germs of food also. Number two, chemical functions. Saliva contains two types of amylolytic enzymes. Number one, tylene and number two, maltase. Tylene and maltase break down the carbohydrate into simple molecules. Beside the digestive function, saliva performs some other functions like number one, excretion some harmful substances like urea, heavy metals, morphine, thiocyanides, antibiotic, ethyl alcohol, all these substances excreted through saliva secretion. Number two, test. Saliva help in taking test by dissolving food. Number three, water balance. Saliva maintain the balance of water in body. During dehydration, the secretion of saliva decreases so that we feel thirsty. After drinking water, the water balance of body becomes stable. And finally, number four, buffer. Saliva acts as buffer. It keeps the acidity of mouth in a certain range of pH from 6.2 to 7.4. So my dear students, I hope you have got the point. Now we are going to talk about pancreas. You know, pancreas is one of the major digestive gland which is located just below the stomach and surrounded by the semicircular loop of duodenum. It is 12 to 15 centimeter in length 
and 5 cm in width. It is look like a chili and divided into three regions head, body, and tail. The whole body of pancreas covered with connective tissue and which is divided into number of lobules. These lobules are consist of two types of glandular tissues. One is exocrine, another is endocrine. So the gland with duct is called exocrine gland and the secretion of exocrine gland are called enzymes and the gland which is ductless are called endocrine gland. The secretion of endocrine glands are called hormones. So as pancreas consists of both exocrine and endocrine glands, that's why it is called mixed gland. So this one is important comprehensive question. Why pancreas is called mixed gland? So here from every lobules of pancreas a small duct is originated and together all the small duct form a main duct that is called pancreas duct or Wilson duct. This pancreas duct opens into duodenum through ampulla of batter with bile duct and the endocrine glands. The endocrine glands are, are scattered in between the lobules. Endocrine glands are the cluster of cells. These are called islets of Langerhans. There are four types of cells found in endocrine glands. Alpha, Beta, Delta, Gamma. Alpha cell secretes glucagon which increase the glucose level in blood. Beta cell secretes insulin which decrease the glucose level in blood and delta cell secretes somatostatin which regulates the function of alpha and beta and gamma cell secretes pancreatic polypeptide and the secretion of exocrine glands are called pancreatic juice you know pancreatic juice is alkaline in nature and 98% of the components of pancreatic juice is water and rest of the 2% components are inorganic and organic substances now the role of pancreas in digestion you know pancreatic juice contains amylolytic proteolytic and lipolytic enzymes so it has an important role in digestion of food at first carbohydrate digestion there are two types of amylolytic enzymes are there in pancreatic juice one is amylase another is maltase amylase and maltase break down the carbohydrate into glucose respectively then uh, role in protein digestion you know there are various types of proteolytic enzymes are found in pancreatic juice like trypsin chymotrypsin carboxypeptidase aminopeptidase tripeptidase dipeptidase collagenase elastase all the enzymes break down the protein into amino acid respectively and also some lipolytic enzymes are found in pancreatic juice number one lipase then phospholipase and cholesterol esterase all the lipolytic enzymes break down the fat into fatty acid and glycerol so my dear students i hope you got the point now gastric gland you know gastric gland is located into the wall of stomach wall of stomach consists of five layers among them 
mucosa contains gastric glands. Gastric glands are unicellular glands. The secretion of gastric gland is called gastric juice. A healthy person can produce 2 liters of gastric juice in a day. There are four types of cells are found in gastric gland. Number one, oxyntic cell. Number two, mucus cell. Number three, argentafin cell. And number four, zymogenic cells. And the components of gastric juice. The main components of gastric juice is water. There is 99.45% water present in gastric juice. And rest of the components are organic and inorganic components. Now the functions of gastric juice. You know hydrochloric acid of gastric juice create an acidic environment in stomach. And also hydrochloric acid kills the germs of food. Number two, pepsin of gastric juice convert the protein into peptones and renin of gastric juice convert the milk into casein and also gastric juice protect the wall of stomach and some of the uh, poisonous substances heavy metals also discharge with the gas so my dear students some homework for you from today's discussion our today's homework is function of saliva please do the homework and submit the homework to your respective SW group or to your respective subject teacher so that's all for today yet if you have any questions regarding today's topics please ask your subject teacher thank you for being with me stay home and stay safe Allah Hafiz